So in this video, I'm going to explain the benefits of removing the steel plumbing water supply lines from your home and switching over to copper. Or if you're not as handy with the plumbing, try the PEX. I know a lot of people, you might not think so, but your plumbing has an expiration date. If you have a home that was built at the turn of the century up to the early 30s, you're going to have steel plumbing in your house. And we're going to show you a little demonstration during part of the demolition of this bathroom in this video to show you exactly what you're going to see in that line and it's going to shock you. So you might want to consider switching over to copper. My suggestion is don't do something like this where you're converting the copper into the existing steel. Try to find it right back to the very source and remove it entirely. If you want to go to copper, that's fine, but understand that copper has two benefits and it has two downfalls. One, it is incredibly strong. When you've got a good joint, you can count on it and go to the bank. Once you've got a good copper joint, it's never going to cause you a problem. The downside is it also has an expiration date. Copper is a soft metal. It is subject to corrosion. And the same thing that happened to the steel pipe that we're going to show you later will happen to your copper eventually. So what I think, my suggestion is to go to the new PEX lines. Especially for the DIYers, the homeowners, this is great product because it is color coded. It tells you which is your hot and your cold lines. You'll never get confused ever, ever, ever again. And it's very easy to use. Now we have some videos that show you how to assemble products. You can check that out in the description below. But basically you just cut this with a pair of snips and you crimp on your connections and it's plumbing DIY friendly. So you can get the most modern technology in a DIY package. And the best thing is if you live in the northern cities, this stuff, if you get frozen, will expand with the ice and it will not burst. And then when the spring comes, it'll thaw out and it'll work again. So all those hose bib flooding accidents that happen to people's homes are a thing of the past if you update to the PEX. Now in the particular project we're on here, we're raising the ceiling and we're making modifications to the locations of all the plumbing. So we've opened it right up so that we can rip all of the old plumbing out and put in new stuff. And so we're not going to take too much time. We're going to go to the footage that we shot of us cutting these pipes in half. And you can decide for yourself if you're comfortable staying with the water lines that you have in your home. Just a quick note, when you're working in this kind of environment, we're going to be cutting something that's got a lot of weight attached to it. So in order to keep the blade from binding, you just want to cut in a little angle away from yourself so that all the way to that pipe is connected to the last point of contact. And just when you're about ready to cut through, you'll be able to grab that pipe and just twist it off. I'll show you what I mean. Otherwise, if it binds on the blade, it can throw you. <laughs> That's not a pleasant experience. Not quite enough room in here to maneuver this, but there we go. Okay. That is called working smart. Control the environment. And something like that's not going to land on your head one day. Let's get rid of this one too. As low as we can, that'll make it easier to pull it out from downstairs. Now this is interesting. Because this is how you can confirm whether or not it was wet or dry. You know that's only air. Look how clean that pipe is. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Now check out the drain. It's almost plugged completely solid. There's just a little bit of a hole left for the water to go down. This is why you want to rip this stuff out. When it starts to corrode inside the pipe, it grabs all the debris and hair that goes down the drain. And before you know it, it's just plugged solid. This is why you need to replace the steel pipes in your house. Okay, so during our exploration here, we've come across some steel plumbing that's still being used in this home, both in the drain, the vent, and in the water supply system. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut the water supply line open real quick, have a take a look at the integrity of this, because there are a couple locations in the ceiling and one in the wall here that I might want to take a look at replacing out. Now traditionally, water supply lines, they last a really, really long time. But if you're going to do a bathroom renovation and you expect to last for 40 years, and you tack that onto the age of the existing plumbing, You'd hate to run into a problem with the plumbing before the bathroom runs its life cycle because you may not be able to fix that without destroying your new work. So let's have a quick look here together and we'll see what the steel piping looks like ah, inside the line. Mm. 
Now, right away, this hasn't been in use for a while, so let's use a grain of salt when we digest this, but you can see all that crap. You have a really small, it looks like a fridge supply line at this point. Now, if you have that sort of supply line in your shower and you're wondering why you have no water pressure, that would be why, okay? So there you go, folks, uh, lesson to be learned. The old steel lines, they have a life expectancy. They will not last forever. So if you're renovating and you run into them, I would suggest do everything you can to update those lines. All right, Whew, what a mess. So after all this adventure, people are gonna be at home going, how do I know if I have steel lines in my house? And you may not know, but if you can see your line going into your wall and you see this kind of a joint, you see copper to copper, there's, there's hardly any transition there. It's very thin, it's very clean, it's a solder joint where a steel pipe is much bigger pipe. And you'll see this nut kind of piece of copper that's soldered to the pipe and then it's threaded in. So that is a very distinctive look. And if you have this coming out of your wall, then you have a steel supply line inside your line and the inside of your line looks like this. Mmm, can't wait for my next glass of fresh clean water. Remember, whether it's water supply or drain lines, you might be surprised what's going on with your pipes. That's the vent line, it looks nice and clean. And you cut something like that, you think my plumbing's in great shape. And then you cut the drain side and you go, oh my God. It's not just the drain, folks. This is a conversion. Look at what's going on here with the corrosion on the tip of that. This is a time bomb. If you have a sink connected to this old plumbing, it is currently rotting out inside and it's hidden. This can give out at any time and it'll destroy your vanity in your bathroom by the time you figure out that you have this problem. So I'm going to suggest when you're renovating, open your walls, find out what you have. It doesn't cost much to close up a wall. A sheet of drywall is eight bucks. All right, take a look. And if you have this old junk, please get rid of it. Besides, your house will love you. It weighs a lot. And get that off the old floor joists. Well, that's about all we need to say about this quality of pipe. Listen, for the time and day that this was installed, it was doing a great job. We've come a long way since then. We've changed all of our cars and the way we drive, the way we eat. We sure need to start thinking about the way we drink. This kind of water supply line will kill you, all right? Get it out of your house. <laughs> Update as soon as you can and get some good night's sleep. Now, if you like this information and you haven't subscribed to our channel, then subscribe. We've got a bunch of renovation tips and DIY stuff in here for you. Like the video with the big thumbs up button down there ask me your questions. If you're not sure, then ask me your questions. We can help to troubleshoot your situation. Love to answer those questions and comments from you. We'll talk to you again soon. Stay safe.